Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's enter that toughest code in once again just to make sure that those midpoint barrels stay dead. Good! Let's go! So, what am I gonna do starting this part now? I mean, it looks like that everything is complete, right? Well, no, not quite. There's actually something, something that we haven't done yet. Uh, over here, way back near the start, remember that there was a shop here, Bazaar's General Store? Well, since I've accumulated 99 bear coins through the course of this walkthrough already, I am going to buy out everything he's got, and he's only got two things to buy out here. So I'm gonna ask about the shell, which we already uh, uh, read about before. So yes, let's let's get that. It'll go up to our little inventory screen at the uh, upper right uh, corner there, and we can also ask about the castle here. Well, I ventured up there once, but if you want to know more, I discovered. <clears throat> I discovered it'll cost you two coins. So yeah, he's even selling information on you, but let's do it anyway, because we have plenty of bear coins to buy everything. Well, once I got to the castle grounds, saw a sign that said, just keep right off our land, so I ran off. That was completely unhelpful. So I'm gonna buy your mirror <laughs> for 50 coins. Yeah, 50 coins seems pricey, but chances are you're going to get them through the course of the game, no matter what. <laughs> are there secret caves? Quite a lot, actually, if you want to know. 13 coins, really? Will you actually tell me where secret caves are, though? Mm, that's still not all that helpful. Oh, really now? So, 13 secret caves to find, huh, 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 huh? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> so... Yeah, he's only got two things on the shelf, but he's open 24 hours. I guess he wants to really make sure that the stuff that he bought... Oops, the stuff that he bought... Um, no, 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 thanks. No, 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 no. The stuff that he bought is always accessible because he's really, really concerned about sales. Anyway, now that we got the shell, we can go back over to Lake Orangatanga here. And I'm probably gonna end up cutting from one bear to the other. But basically, what I started here is a trading sequence when I bought those two things at the store. So he's gonna be like, whoa! Uh, uh, I guess he didn't mention the shell just yet. What a beautiful shell! It's just what I need to finish off me collection. And Kongs, would you swap that shell for my bird? Mm -mm 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 -mm. What if I say I like that shell? Oh, that's a shame. You would have been proud of it. Oh, I guess just kind of grumbles and then sends you off. Okay, let's give him the shell. <laughs> shell, 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 shell. <laughs> so here you go. It goes onto the shelf and I get the banana bird for it. Yeah! And that'll go over to uh, Wrinkly Save Cave. Another part of the trading sequence is over here at K3. This is like a separate branch of the trading sequence at Blizzard's base camp. Remember I turned down uh, grabbing the present when I was over here to give to Blue for his birthday? So yeah, this time I'm going to say snow problem and get that present up in my inventory. Over at Cottontop Cove, we are here at Blue's Beach Hut, so let's give him that present and cheer him right up. Why, yes! Will he immediately take it or will I have to give it to him? Okay, he'll immediately take it. <laughs> let's see what's inside. Hmm. A bowling ball? What? What is this craziness? What, what would I need a bowling ball for? Well, chances are that the bowling ball will fit Bazooka's cannon just right. So what do you say here that I take ye ol' bowling ball up there and fire it in ye ol' Big Bessie? But... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, what, if this, what if I say hold fire? Um, no, it's most certainly not a shot in the dark because I know I'm going to be shot up to that floating platform at the upper right corner there, so let's do it! Shoot, 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 shoot! Kablam! Kablamo, yes! 
Yes, heavy ball, bowling ball, works perfectly, lock and load. Ready? Wait for it. Fire! <laughs> Sky High Secret contains another Simon Says thing of a Bob here, so get your memory caps on and hope for the best. <laughs> Oh yeah! Nailed it! So there's another banana bird. So where to next on our little trading adventure? Well, remember Barter? The guy who had some appearance issues? Well, he would probably like that mirror that we have. I've been doing some home improvements. Look at the state of me. How will I know when I'm clean? Hey, if that is a mirror, if it is it, can I possibly borrow it? Uh, hands off, Buster! Well, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go give him the mirror. Uh, giving him the mirror will get you something in return, like say that wrench on the table. So yeah, let's give him that. Well, oh, thanks, that Kongs. Oh, look at the state of me. I'm a wreck. Take this wrench. I don't need it now. Okay. Hey, wasn't there someone that could use a wrench to do some repairs? I do think there was over here at the second version of the chairlifts. I'm afraid that my chairlift is broken. Let my number six wrench to someone and didn't return it to me. I think I know who didn't return it to you. Hey, you found my wrench. Could I have it back? Uh, mm -eh. Mm -mm. Finders keepers! Oh, if that's your attitude, then you can be my coat. Uh, get your coat and be on your way. Why did I, why did I say be my coat? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's give him the wrench. I just like to see the the rude dialogue just for the kicks. Uh, yes, here you go. I decided, decided to return it then, have you? Well, this lift is not for free. It's two coins ago, in fact. Do you want to ride in my chair lift? Yeah, I would love to! This is why I liked accumulating the bear coins before doing these trading sequences too, by the way. Yep. Another one of those hidden caves. Let's go in to Clifftop Cash. <clears throat> Catch, excuse me. <clears throat> Mucus. Ah. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah, they just keep increasing the amount, and I'm gonna eventually fail one. Whee! Back we go. Woohoo! So what do we do from here now, since we kind of ran out of ideas? Well, okay, we didn't run out of ideas. There was someone over here at Chaos Core that needed a mirror, remember that? Well, not necessarily a mirror, but someone who wanted to reflect on something in, you know, in Baffle's code room here. So we're going to talk to him about this. I still can't break this code. I'll have to keep looking into it. Oh, I thought he might have something else to say. Well. What we have to do now is go back over to Barter's Swap Shop and trade back for said mirror. Well, not, I shouldn't say trade back, um, buy the mirror back from him. Ah, he's looking a lot better. Why, yeah, mm, eh, ah, you can keep it. Okay, but I have a feeling you'll be back. Yeah, I, yeah, you know that I need that mirror, you scoundrel. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get the mirror. How much do you want for the mirror? 10 coins? Oh, I've got 10 coins. Yes, you swindler. <laughs> I was getting bored of being so neat and tidy. <laughs> so now that I got the mirror, I can go back over to, Ooh, I'm bouncing off the edges, Chaos Core. And flip flop over to Baffles Code Room. Now, why would we do such a thing? Well, hmm, perhaps I'm looking at this thing the wrong way around. Hey, Kongs, is that a mirror you've got there? If it is, could I have it to solve my code? It's a picture frame. That's a shame. It might have been the answer to my problems. It is the answer, because it is actually a mirror, so we're going back in. 
So yeah, it's apparently one of those reversed codes, you know, that you um, point, I mean, you put the piece of paper in front of a mirror and then you can read the code off of said uh, mirror or, you know, yeah, yeah, you get what I'm saying here. So here we go. Yep, writ written backwards it says, to open the gate at the two stones, make eight. Well, what do you reckon that means? Could you figure this one out, Kongs? Get it figure eight? <laughs> well, actually... It's not so much a figure eight. I mean, it is a figure eight, but it's more like a infinity sign. You go around these rocks in a figure eight, and look at that! Look at it, it opens! Oh my goodness, it's sewer stockpile! What kind of sewer is this place? Because it has crystals in it. I don't. <laughs> yeah, another one of these. Um. E e e e e e. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so, that's pretty good for now, but now we don't have any more leads, huh? Or do we? <laughs> yeah, the, the trading sequence just keeps going on as you do more and more stuff. Like, remember uh, over here, there's this guy named Bramble? Bramble's bungalow? Uh, bungalow, not bungalow. <laughs> So he's, he's like, yes, I moved up here to get away from the smell of the machines, but it's been too dry to grow anything. Oh, how sad. Well, he's, you notice that flower picture on the back wall? Well, look look on that path that I bounced back and forth from multiple times before. See that? Look at that, look at that. There's a little flower there. Let's go back there now, because we got the flower. Flower power. Uh-huh. Oh, you've got one! A perfect flipperous patellus fungus! Hey, would you let me have it? I'd be ever so grateful! No, I want it! I want to use it, I want to stick it in my hair and decorate my head, but may, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you could use it better than I could use it. So here you go, I'll, I'll give you that flower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, here you go. Oh, you are too generous, Kongs. Here, have this banana scoldrous flutterous. Or, uh, I mean, uh, I, I meant banana bird. I finished studying its abilities. Some of them are quite magical, I'll have you know. Hmm, I wonder what those banana birds are for. Hmm, hmm. Well, in any case, the trading sequence is now over, but we still have yet to find that lost world, but perhaps, perhaps someone over here will help us with it. Remember this guy here, Blunders Booth, the guy who spills the beans on topics? Well, let's see. So can I find the Lost World Day? Eh? You're obviously not going around the rocks fast enough then, are you? Uh-oh. Right, that's it, I'm leaving. You're not getting any more clues from me, so there! So what does he mean by that? Well, let's go back in and see if he has anything else, <laughs> anything else to say. Um, oh, no. I think he had more dialogue, but I missed going back to him um, along the way throughout the story, so I apologize for that. So, yeah. But anyway, the solution to this is to accelerate with the jet ski and... Come on, come on, come on. Go around the rocks, quickly. And I mean quickly. Keep going. You need... Controls. <laughs> come on. I just need to get the speed up and... Maybe I'll try it this way. Maybe I'll have less bouncy issues. Yeah, all you have to do is go around these four rocks over and over. <laughs> oh shoot, I'm going up the waterfalls. I I don't know, I feel like I should be blaming the Xbox D-pad because I don't remember having this much issue with this before. <laughs> Can I just like gently go around the rocks? Like maybe not hold the dash button? Maybe it could be... Might be, um, no, not looking like it. Oh wait, there we go, I guess it does work that way. Maybe you just need the jet ski in general to be able to do it or something, I don't know. But there we go, there's the lost world, and it is the game's final world. Let's go check it out, Crematora. Ooh, ooh. Well, first, let's go to Wrinkly Safe Game. Because <laughs> we've done a lot of progress here, so I like to save the game here while she's sleeping, if you don't mind. So, yeah, 87% now. And you'll notice that the uh, item inventory there was all full, which is delightful. Wait, was it all full? I think 
I think there wasn't any question marks on that. Hold on, I just want to see that one more time. Uh, I, I barely wear any clothes. <laughs> yeah, okay, they, I, I thought one of them was a question mark, but no, they're, they're all filled up. Yeah, those uh, question marks on the screen represented each of the items that you can get uh, throughout this game. And there we go. So, um... The Lost World here. What what can we do here in the Lost World? Well, you'll notice that there's a, a K there, but oh no, it's, there, there's there's some rocks. What what the heck happened? What we can't get over there. Let's go to Boomer's Bomb Shelter and meet up with New Bear that I talked about during the credits. Hello, Boomer's name. Blowing things up is my game. The rest of the folks here have sucked me up in here. Something about being too dangerous or something. Hmm. I don't get it either. My brother might be happy with these dull bear coins, but I'm only interested in gold ones with a B on them. If you have me 15 coins, this beauty will be prime and ready to blow. They'll, they'll see why you call me a boomer. So yeah, um, that those bonus coins that I've been collecting all this time are for the lost world here. So um, let's say no way. No, perhaps you should go play with your dollies instead. Okay. No, wait, actually, I want to blow stuff up. That'll be fun. I'll play with my dolls later. <laughs> so, okay, let's blow some stuff up here. Let's do it, Boomer. I got 74 of these suckers. Good one, Kongs. That's bought you four of Boomer's specials. So, it looks like there's one bonus coin that I don't have yet. Huh? 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 So, let's blow that sucker up. Well, oh, and that too. Yep, there goes the fuse around the world. Bloop. And bloop! There's still two more explosions though. Hmm, maybe there's more bonus coins around here than, uh, than, uh, oh, you might think in other levels? And no, forget it, I'm just kind of rambling around here with my overly vague hints. Well, okay, maybe they're not that vague. Next level! Very special level known as Stampede Sprint. So, we got the. Got the music going on here. Got a no squawk sign, no squitter sign. Well, why, why, why are these here? We didn't meet up with them. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a bonus area right off the bat. Actually, there's two bonus areas right off the bat. <laughs> so let's grab 15 bananas here and look at that. Oh, it's squawks. Who would have guessed that it would be squawks around this place? It's oh, These bonus areas at the start of this level are pretty nice because... You know, they're, they're right there, and you can always just restart them if you fail. Um, otherwise, this level is really, really difficult to get to the last bonus area overall. So you don't, like, don't really want to mess with uh, too many bonus areas in this game in gen... I mean, in this level in general. So I think it's a good idea that they put two of these suckers right at the start. And you'll see what I mean when I get into the level. Because you're going to have to execute something... That's rather unconventional and difficult to do. Anyway, bonus coin! Ho! Now, as you've seen, there is another bonus barrel off to the left over here. Look at that, look at that! Oh yeah, it's right here! I could do the throw Kongs up there or just flap over there with uh, uh, squawks. But now we got 15 more bananas to... Oh, yep, yeah, there's a squawk sign there. Just in case. Designers thought of everything. <laughs> Just keep making little web platforms across this uh, mid-ranged area here, and you should be able to jump to each of the bananas as you go. But just keep regenerating your bananas as you go. I mean, not your bananas, excuse me, your uh, uh, platforms as you go, because they're going to keep disappearing too. But don't get too greedy with the bananas either, because you don't want to have end up restarting this bonus area, even if, you know, if, even if you're right there. Oh, just collected one act by accident. I won't complain. <laughs> And there is the other bonus coin. Now, if you were to, say, go into the other bonus area with Squitter, you are going to see a No Squitter sign! No, wait, I, oh, I thought there was a No Squitter sign in here. Oh, I was mistaken by that. I guess it's just the other one that is Squawks unfriendly. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, uh, leave this bonus area by force like that and just move on here. Actually, hold on a sec. Okay, there's a letter K. Well, where... What if I took, um... Uh, squawks to that instead? Like, will I, will I still get a reward for taking squawks to that? Like, let's just see here. Just gonna 
experiment with all the possibilities here. I'll probably just get like a bear coin or bananas or something like that. Bananas, okay. So we need to use Dixie to get across here. And look at this, we got got a certain pachyderm going on here. And uh, we've also got Perry, which we have to take all the way to the end of the level in order to get the bonus barrel. The last bonus barrel of this place. Oh yes, this this might be one of the hardest bonus areas in the game to get to because it's an auto scroll stage of sorts where it has you running uncontrollably. Yeah. <laughs> oh geez, there's cuffing clouds. Noon. <laughs> I should have just jumped on them. Yeah, you don't have much time to react to stuff as you go, but luckily, keyword luckily. The stage is relatively short overall, so yeah. <laughs> but even though that it's short, chances are it's gonna take you a bunch of tries to get the hang of this sucker because you don't have very much time to react to the threats along the way. Yeah, I know I skipped the letter cave just because I didn't go into the uh oh shoot, I already lost Perry. Well, might as well suicide. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's the difficulty of this level, because even if you can make it to the end, oh, that's not enough. You gotta make it to the end with Perry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I wonder how many tries this is gonna take me. 300, 400, 6, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna focus all my attention on oh geez on the battle at hand oh shoot why am i not jumping on enemies i should be jumping on stuff oh, oh i lost it mm. <laughs> and this it, this level is totally fair in how it's set up it just that you got to have your eyes all over the screen at once and that's pretty difficult to do at such high speeds like it gives you plenty of time to react to stuff which is very, very difficult. The Lost World levels of Donkey Kong Country games are known to be difficult, so this is right up the alley of... Oh, jeez, already. It's right up the alley of the game's uh, game series known difficulty. Dang it! <laughs> Why? Why? Why must you put me through this? And I didn't even make it to the, um... Uh, the midpoint to this level yet. Like where the midpoint would be located and whatnot. Nope, did not even make it to it yet. <laughs> yeah. Wait, actually, I, I'm pretty sure there isn't a... Wait, is there a midpoint in this level? I kind of forgot. Because I remember Lost World level levels typically um, don't seem to have... Wait, no, maybe it does. I don't know. I, I'm just kind of thinking to myself here. I'd rather take a hit than lose my parry buddy there. Oh, I can go under that one. Okay, that's fine. Just keep looking ahead, keep looking... Oh, I lost it. No! Well, I'll take this run to practice, which I didn't get much much practice time in. <laughs> da! Stampede sprint. Why are you so evil? I'm about the game over, by the way, because I don't have my 60 plus lives. I don't remember how many I have, but I had a lot of them. Bloop! Bloop! Yeah, I don't remember if there is a midpoint barrel in, in, in this particular level. I know that there's some uh, Lost World levels that do have midpoint barrels, but maybe not this one. I don't know. It's been been a while. Ooh! I knew I jumped a little late after the, uh, the first one. Okay, safe. Kind of. Well, maybe we'll show the game over screen eventually. Maybe. <laughs> I was going to show the game over screen uh, at the end like I usually do, you know, when I have a lot of lives and I use it to close off a walkthrough, but I might not have to do it this time. <laughs> I love that. It gets scared. I mean, that the, they put the rats there to specifically scare Ellie because they know, you know, it's fearful of them and it starts the sequence of doom. Oh, why do I keep doing that? It's not like it's like I'm not learning from my past mistakes and jumping over things as they're presented. Not how uh, ah, I was late there. Not how they are 
observed, then yeah, whatever. <laughs> I got an extra life somewhere in there, so... Not a game over yet. Not a game over yet. Oh boy, this level is not user-friendly. <laughs> yeah. And no, you can't stop, by the way, if you didn't realize that. That's why I'm constantly moving forward this whole time, and why the level is called Stampede Sprint. It's an elephant stampede, and okay, I got it this time. But yeah, don't if you don't realize, you can't jump on the spiky bristles. Ah, I was late again there, dang it. <laughs> I'm so happy I can jump, or I can go underneath those. Let her in. Okay, we're doing okay, not so good. <laughs> no! <laughs> Look at Dixie Kong. And Kitty's no uh, pushover in the laughs department either. With his pouty face. Alright, I gotta enter the toughest code again. <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't save after I blew the suckers up. Whoopsie doodle. That also means that I uh, um, lost out on those two bonus areas right at the beginning of this level. But eh, whatever. I'll get them on another run. I'm just going to focus on uh, um, getting through this level here. Because, you know, they're right at the beginning of the level, so it doesn't really matter. Since I could just start select out of the level and whatnot. So yeah, let's not, let's not torture ourselves with getting those two bonus areas every time we have to do a run on this level. <laughs> Sounds good? I thought so. So, okay. Oh, I thought I could do a full jump over that second one you know, by getting close to the first one, but nope, can't do that. Nope, nope, nope. Too bad. Oh, too bad. Oh, why did I jump there? I just lost parry. Well, let's practice this anyway. Just to see what else is coming up ahead here. And oh jeez, that's close. <laughs> I would really like bananas to be there more often so I can tell what's coming up ahead and oh. That's the end of the level. <laughs> this is where you have to take Perry to. And there's the sign to to get a keg to wipe out. Yep. Coin for a Donkey Kong coin. Alright. So now that I made it to the uh, end of the level, I get a gear here. What's that gear for? Well, it's for something. Something special. Well, in any case, I gotta... I gotta go back in here to finish this sucker off. Yeah, I always get hit by that second one. I gotta practice that more. I reacted too late. Oh, jumped a little too early. Letter N! I'm gonna resume here just because it's the letter N. Oh, poopers! At least I got Perry that far. Letter N! Go! I jumped too early, dang it. <laughs> oh shoot, I jumped too early again because I knew they were coming. Da! Letter N! Focus now. I did it again, dang it. And yes, okay. Focus, focus, focus. Stay focused through to the end. Oh my good. Oh, I can't go under that one. No. <laughs> letter N. Can I do it? The letter N will probably tell me no, because N is for no. <gasps> okay, okay. Calm yourself. Jump over that one. Jump over these two. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh. oh! If that's not enough, you gotta make it through a bonus area. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to do this all over again from the start. Yeah. So we gotta grab Perry here, and we actually gotta use it to jump over the buzz. Yeah. You actually use Perry to collect the bananas in this. It's not all that difficult if you just focus on Perry and not your uh, elephant friend here, Ellie. So yeah, just keep focusing on Perry, keep focusing on Perry, and you will be the victorious! <laughs> 
Yes! I know the level isn't complete because I gotta go back to um, the other two levels, I mean the, the other two bonus areas to uh, uh, complete it, but once you complete a level after getting a gear from a level in the Lost World, you will uh, be able to uh, get a bear coin every time you finish the level. So it's a, a better prize than any other end level thingamabob in the game. Anyway, let's complete these two again, shall we? One! Two! I bet this bonus area is pretty tricky to complete if you tried to do it with uh, Squitter. But anyway, let's do this for kicks, and let's exit out of this level because it is now 100%ed. Wow, that took a while. So let's head over to Wrinkly Save Cave to make sure that our progress is intact. And I'm going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. Look at that, there's a little gear on the save screen now. <laughs> So yeah, there's something important going on with those gears. Oh yeah.